Hello. This is Tara McGinnis, and this is Theatrical Makeup Design Interactive. Makeup kits can be simple or mammoth, but all of them need a few basic things. Firstly, you will want a base tone similar to your skin tone, and a darker tone to make shadows, and a lighter tone for highlights. You will also want a reddish tone for lips and cheeks to make a healthy look and some sort of dark, dull violet tone for cold, unhealthy shadows. True black, white, yellow, and bright red are also very handy and nearly indispensable. You will want powder, especially if you live in a warm, humid climate, or if you sweat a lot on stage, regardless of weather. You need brushes, as many as you can afford and I highly recommend going out and buying a bunch of flat angled watercolor brushes a quarter inch to a half inch wide in addition to whatever brushes might come with your basic kit. You also need those little makeup sponge wedges for applying base, and a powder puff for powder, obviously. There is a weird sort of sponge called a stipple sponge, which you will quickly discover has lots of uses, especially if you take the time to play with it for practice. Other necessities for some of the lessons include spirit gum, nose wax, crepe hair, and scissors to cut the hair. You also need something to remove your makeup. A towel is a good idea. So are makeup remover wipes, as are cold cream, bottled makeup remover, baby oil, or any oil-based makeup removers. Many of these items, plus lots of other handy stuff, can be obtained at reasonable rates by buying a standard student kit from any of the main theatrical makeup companies. Each of these brands offers good value for these kits because, obviously, they want to get you hooked on their makeup. Krylon's kit has its own textbook included as one of its several nifty extras. Graftobian, as the least known company, has to try much harder, and so gives more little extra things for special effects. I'm fondest of Ben Nye for me because the colors in their kits work best with my pale pinky white skin. But if your skin tends to yellows, Krylon may be best for you. Miron has a fancy student kit especially formulated for film and TV work. And other companies also produce excellent basic kits as well. Uh, once you have your makeup kit, you'll want to go and get some sort of receptacle to stick it in. Like some sort of makeup box or tackle box or tool box or zippered makeup pouch. You will also want to add more nifty stuff to the kit, as your pocketbook and access to makeup allows. Halloween is a good time to pick up cheap versions of useful stuff like black tooth wax, stage blood, weird colors of makeup, and latex for special effects. Checking out the cosmetic counter at drugstores can also get you inexpensive glitters, false eyelashes, fun colors of lipstick, and during Halloween, metallic eyelashes. Hot Topic and other alternative clothing stores also often carry neon colors of makeup, hair gel, and hair dye that is useful. If you get really serious about this, you can go on the internet and order specific supplies from Ben Nye, Krylon, or the other companies.